Okay guys, so the first model we're going to be discussing now that you have all of the definitions in your notes, which you should have written down, is the linear model. So the linear model is very simple. And in your definitions, I want you to write down that the linear model, all that means is one way communication. Now, one thing I'm going to stress a lot in this class is that communication is almost never one way. You're always sending messages and receiving messages. So the linear model is not something that you see all the time. Now, the first person on this side is going to be someone called your sender. Right now, put your pencils down. I'll give you time to copy this at the end of the video. So you have your sender on this side. You are going to have your receiver, which makes sense. A sender sends something, so a receiver receives it. What do these they send? Well, they send messages. And that message travels in something called a channel. What is a channel? Well, a channel is the way that you send a message before you communicate with anyone, be it through text message, through email, face to face. You have to decide how you are going to send that message. That is the channel. For example, right now, the channel that I'm using to communicate with you is this video. I'm communicating with you through a video. When I'm in class, I'm communicating with you face to face. So the channel is a conversation. When I send you a remind or something through Google Classroom, then the channel changes every single time. So in this one, you have a sender who decides how they're going to send a message and the receiver gets it. Before the receiver can receive anything and before the sender can send anything though, they first have to create a message. The process of creating a message is called N code, which is in your notes, E-N-C-O-D-E. -E. To N code means to create a message. Those of you who are bilingual know that before you even open your mouth to speak, you have to first decide a few things. Number one, what language am I going to speak in? That's part of encoding. Then you have to decide what you're going to say. For example, if I'm shooting somebody a text message, I have to decide, okay, am I going to send this in English or Spanish? Then I have to decide, am I going to put emojis? Am I going to use text speak or proper English? How am I going to send this? What am I going to say? What am I going to encode? If the sender has to encode, then the receiver has to decode. They have to take any information that the sender sent them and create meaning. They have to decide what that message means. Now, sometimes they decide correctly, sometimes they don't. And we're going to discuss that. The final part of this is something called noise. And you have a definition for noise. Noise is anything that gets in the way of communication. So that does not just mean physical noise, like somebody banging on a desk or tapping their pencil or speaking loudly next to you. Noise can be in your head. Noise is anything that keeps you from understanding the message. Maybe somebody sent you a text message and you misunderstood it. That was noise. Now you'll notice here that the message goes from the sender to the receiver, and that's it. In the linear model of communication, there is never, ever, ever any message that comes back. It goes one way. I want you to take 30 seconds and see if you can think of a real world example where communication starts with the sender, 
goes out to the audience and then stops. Should have been enough time. I'm going to give you an example. Every day during first period, you hear something come off. What do you hear? Yeah, you hear the announcement at the end of the period, somebody comes on the intercom and they speak to you and they tell you what's going on. I hate to tell you this, but no matter how hard you yell at that intercom, they cannot hear you. They send you a message, you receive it, and communication stops. So announcements are another form of linear communication. Um, you may have written something down like radio, or TV, or movies, or videos, like in this case. All of those would be correct. Now, with this video example, it's a little bit different because I cannot get any message from you. I can ask you all questions and give you time to answer, but I can't actually hear what you're saying. Any time that you have communication that goes and then comes back, it is not the linear model. So if you wrote something like emails here, that doesn't really count because with an email, even though it may take some time, you still get a response. If you wrote phone call, that also does not count because you receive a response with phone calls. Anything where you receive a response is not the linear model. The linear model goes one way. 